Church, as we continue in worship through song this morning, I want to take a moment and read a passage that most of us are familiar with, a passage that most of us have heard before. If you take a moment, open up your Bibles, the, the words will also be on the screen, and turn to John 20. John 20, verses 1 through 21, hear the word of the Lord. It says, Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple. They were going towards the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stopping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and he believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary, she stood weeping outside the tomb. As she went, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have lain him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in an Aramaic, Rabbani, which means teacher, Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked and the disciples were in fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. This morning, this Easter Sunday, seems a whole lot like that morning that the disciples were gathered in the upper room. They were fearful. They were uncertain. They knew that Jesus had died. They had heard that Jesus had arisen. But there was an uncertainty in that crowd. It's kind of like that this morning, church. We're all uniting around with the cause of Jesus, the name of Christ, but there's a little uncertainty because of the world around us. This morning, though, we can be certain that, that God sent Jesus to die, and Jesus rose for each of us, and He did so in order to send us out. Church, we have the opportunity of a lifetime currently to be the church, to be the hands and feet that God has called us to be in our community. So I challenge you, as we sing as we continue on in service. Don't let this be the only time this week that you are the church. Love the community God has placed you in. Disciple your family. Spend intentional time with the Lord. He died so we may live. His victory is our victory this morning. Sing with me.
chains, I'm a prisoner no more. My shame was a ransom he faithfully bore. He canceled my debt and he called me his friend. That's when death was arrested in my Jesus rose with us.